Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Get Fit With Jess and welcome to today's 10 minute shoulder superset workout. I'm really excited that you're here with me today. Here's what we need to get set up. You just need some dumbbells. I have a heavier and a lighter set. You don't have to have two sets, but if you do have the option of going heavier, we have some kind of more power shoulder moves that we'll do in our first superset, and then we'll go lighter from there. But grab whatever you have, grab what challenges you, and let's get right into this. So we're gonna do a quick warm up, just loosen up the shoulders, so just kind of roll up and back. Uh, maybe you're unfamiliar with the term superset, that just means that we're gonna take two moves, okay? And we're gonna do those kind of back to back. Go ahead and reverse that. So we'll do one move for 30 seconds and then rest for 15. Let's go ahead and pull uh, one arm across here. Maybe take your ear to your shoulder. We'll rest for 15 seconds and then we'll do the second move, 30 seconds, all right? Then we'll come back in and do those two moves again for another round. So two moves, two rounds, we have three supersets today. Go ahead and just swing this arm forward and back. Good. All right, let's do all that over here to the other arm. Start by pulling it across. Maybe take your ear to your shoulder. Good. All right, let's twist it out here and then we'll get into it. So like I said, the first superset, um, you could possibly go a little heavier. We have a shoulder press move and an upright row. And pretty much for all of the moves today, let's take a nice deep breath, you could alternate if you need to. So start out by doing both arms together, but if it gets too challenging, you start to lose form and you can't go any lighter in your weights, then definitely alternate it. And I'll show you what that looks like. One more deep breath. All right, so shoulder press. Let's just practice it right here, body weight. So we're gonna punch up and down. Now, you don't wanna be super wide with these, okay? So kind of bring the elbows in just a little bit. All right, you can even do these a narrow press. I know for some people that feels a little better. As I had a little bit of a shoulder injury, that felt much better to me than being out here. So just pay attention to your body, what feels right to you. And then in an upright row, I want you to think about, go ahead and practice it here with me. We're zipping up a jacket and we're zipping it down. So that's the move. Elbows come out nice and wide and down. All right, you ready to add weights to this? Go ahead and grab your weights to go and eight seconds for round one shoulder press. Get ready, get set, and let's go. So strong wrists, and what I mean by that is make sure you're punching up. So think about you're punching the ceiling, all right? So those knuckles are going up, not palms up first. Knuckles first, good. Move at your own pace, alternating looks like this, one arm at a time. Very good. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that down. 15 seconds, shake it out. If you need to drop your weights, go for it. So upright rows, you might be using the same weights or you might need to use a different size, okay? Get ready, three, two, one. Let's do it. Zip up that jacket and down. Get those elbows out nice and wide. Remember that option. Alternate right and left. Good. Slow and controlled here, no need to rush. Beautiful, five, four, three, two, one, good, all right, let's rest for 15. And maybe you need to drop the weight, shake it out, stretch it out. Let's evaluate, how did round one feel to you? Do we need to adjust anything for round two? Get ready, get set, let's go, I'm with you. Remember, don't get those elbows out super wide, bring them in just a little bit. Good, good. Come on, we got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Hello, shoulders, right? They are good and awake and warm now, that's for sure. 
All right, let's finish up our first superset right here, upright rows in three, two, one, let's go. Good. So let your breath help you here. What I mean by that is let's exhale on the exertion, inhale on the way down. Awesome. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, good, good. Okay. Drop the weights for a second. Most likely, if you have the option of going lighter, here's where you need to, need to go lighter. So we're gonna do a front raise, okay? And I want us to do a hammer grip, which just means our palms are facing each other, okay? So we're lifting up and down. You can hold on to one weight, or you can hold on to two. Then our second move in the superset is gonna be a side raise. And I want us to alternate that out because we're gonna kinda take it here, almost like a pendulum, okay? All right, get ready. Eight seconds, and we go. Hammer grip, front raise, three, two, one, let's go. So think about getting those thumbs up, okay? Thumbs are pointing up. Well, unless you're here, okay? I mean, thumbs still are pointing up, right? So you're holding your weight on each end. We're lifting up to shoulder level, no need to go way up here, over the shoulders. All right, just keep it right there. Shoulder level, right back down. Beautiful, five, four, three, two, one, good. All right, lateral, lateral raise. So we're gonna go right and left. And then if you can, try to go here. So like when this weight comes down, then the other one's already starting to go up. Let's go, let's try it. And if you don't like that, that's too challenging, it just doesn't feel right to you, it's okay. Go right here. Slide then in the elbow. Like I said, we're lifting up to shoulder level. No need to go higher than that. Awesome. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoo. <laughs> so working some small muscles here. Um, so yeah, the weight might not be super heavy, but it's tough, right? Okay, we got one more round here in our second superset. Let's go. This one really targets the front of the shoulders, that anterior deltoid. Good, good. 15. And try to keep the shoulders down. Okay, I know they're not necessarily relaxed, but I don't want to shru shrugging. That's time. So when you start to shrug, you're gonna start to get some traps. We want to let the traps relax here, work the shoulders, okay? All right, just think about it. I know it's easier said than done, but practice it, okay? Let's go. Practice makes progress. All right, you know your options here. Let's go. Good control, good form, good reps. Awesome. Come on, five. Four, three, two, one. All right, one more superset to go. We're gonna do a bent elbow side raise now. So your elbows are around 90 degrees. Again, we could alternate it. You could do both arms together. I know my arms are getting tired. So I'm gonna start by alternating and then see what I got left in the tank on that last round. And then we're gonna hinge for that second move and do a reverse fly. Again, both arms together or alternate it out. You ready? Come on, this is it. Five seconds, last superset, two rounds, let's go. Good. Just trying to keep the elbows right around 90 degrees here. Awesome. Ten more seconds. 
You're doing so good. Come on, let's push through that burn. Let's get those shoulders stronger today. Time. Strong sculpted shoulders. That's what we're going after today. All right, little hinge here with me. Now it's important when we hinge, we pull our stomach in, brace the core so we can protect our lower back. Ready? Let's go. Now, this is not a side raise. What we have been doing, you are going back, okay? So think about, um, I've got maybe, uh, there's a pencil in between your shoulder blades. I want you to pinch that pencil, okay? When you come back, pinch it. Good, shoulder blades coming around, kind of wrapping around that pencil. Good. Slide bend in the elbows here. So arms are not locked out and straight, but keep a little bend in the elbows. You got it, come on. Push back, pull back. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, all right. One more round and we are done. What do you got left in the tank? Let's give it all right here. Don't hold back. Shake it out, stretch it out. Deep breath. I'm with you. Ready, set, let's go. Good, 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 good. Come on. Don't think about the burn. Think about your strength right now. 15 seconds. You are strong. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna drop the weights for a second. Shake it out. Now, I didn't tell you this in the last round, but this move, uh, this reverse fly, really hits and targets the back of the shoulder. All right, so think about it. Get that mind-muscle connection. Last time, go, here we go. Good, come on, pinch that pencil in the middle of your back, in the middle of the shoulder blades. Good, keep that core pulled in. We got this now, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, give me one more, make it your best. Time. Oh, wow. <laughs> All right, take one ear to your shoulder. Feel that nice a stretch on that other side. Good, bring that arm across. All right, what'd you think about that 10 minute shoulder superset, other side? I thought that was an awesome 10 minute workout. I hope you loved it too. Always love hearing from you. So please let me know in the comments that you got this workout done with me. Let me know uh, which move was your favorite, which move that you struggled with the most, okay? And then as always, make sure you like and that you are subscribed to my channel. That way you get all of these new 10 minute stackables. And then if you love this workout, this type of training, um, definitely make sure you check out my programs. I have new sessions going every single month. So I'll put a description in the caption. Reach out to me with any questions. Great job today. Again, thank you for joining me and I'll see you back next time. Bye.